hello, I'm going to draw a picture. And there I am drawing it. Uh, it's going to pretty much soon be obvious what I'm drawing as well because of the rear engine layout. I actually prefer this so much more with just pencil because it was it had the promise of being accurate at this point and it, it looked quite good there and then I uh, coloured it in yellow which as you will see <laughs> anyway um yeah I had grand plans for this video as a description look there it is that pretty much should tell you what ship this is the fact that it looks like a, a flying saucer with wings on the side and it has vertical rear thrusters thrusters they're not thrusters they're engine outlet port things uh yeah so this is an app scout <laughs> and i'm coloring it in there it goes it's starting to be colored in now uh it's in front of a planet which is in front of a star so uh, it's an asp in front of <laughs> and i had grand plans as i say uh of describing all the the wonderful attributes of the the asp explorer like it's it's amazing jump range and it's its ability to take down enemies with its six hard points and it's uh, it's numerous utility mounts that you can pop your point defense and all of those scanners and bits and bobs you might need on there and uh, and then compare it to the uh, meager options available on on the asp scout which are you know Two less in every channel, really. You you got fours where there were fives on the Asp Explorer, and you've got uh, five, four, three for your scout, rather than that nice big size six optional internal there. So you know, it's it's uh, it's it's a, it's a veil of disappointment, really, <laughs> is the idea. And I was thinking, oh yeah, small and medium hard points. So, you know, little ones. You're not really going to do fighting in it. Uh, um, size five optional internal means you. you yeah, you could you could put a fuel scoop on it, but it's not. And then I started looking at Coriolis and uh, I'm thinking about it and actually realised that um, actually you could get it up to about mid to high 30s for your jump range, which isn't bad. And you've still got a bit of cargo space. You've got, what have you got? You can have a, a five, uh, you can have your shields on your four potentially, and then you've got, a three, a three, a two, two, one. So you can use for your DSS scanner. You could have one of those, and then you've got you've got a reasonable amount of cargo space. And I was thinking, well, that's not much cargo space. It's not like you can pack it like you can the Asp Explorer, which is a wonderful starting trading ship, really. When you think about it, because you can go all over the place. Uh, and I was thinking, actually, what 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 does this remind me of? And I was thinking, well, actually, it was. Rares running. It would be fantastic for rares running because you're doing these little hops and you never go more than 200 light years. So it doesn't need to have the legs of a, an explorer like a DBX or an ASP. It has got some cargo space. So it's actually not as rubbish as I'd planned to describe it as. I am scandalised by this. So you know what? I could probably imagine myself. Before I started doing um, all these drawings, my big thing was... Um, um, making daft little pictures using photoshop for my in-game faction i just used to post them on our little facebook page and just attempt to make funny images or helpful images like infographics or something like that uh, I, I think probably uh, at the time i thought i was rather better at photoshop than i apparently am <laughs> having looked back at them now they look really quite poor it doesn't really matter but yeah I, i've always been rather better at using my hands to color things in with than using a computer um even though ostensibly I'm supposed to know how to use Photoshop, but you'd never know it to look at these pictures. But I used to make little charts, diagrams of rares, where I might trade my rares. I, I mean, I say big thing, like I did more than a couple of them. I did a few. Anyway, and we used to, uh, my faction that I was in, uh, we used to do uh, rares activity runs where we'd all gather, say, some Utgaror eggs and some Tanmark tea and some Tarek spice and, oh, and Capofanasis, you get some onion head there. Uh, and actually, uh, Tanmark sell onion head as well. So you get quite a big haul uh, within a, like a 30, 50 light year range of our home system. And uh, and then we take it all over to the old world, Slave and Leastian. And because they're all packed and loads of them have got rares as well, we'd um, we'd do the same there and bring them all back. And it just it was a nice little kind of self-contained run. 
and uh, a little bit of fun because onion head and tarak spice are both uh, illegal drugs in some ports so that was always a bit exciting and uh, and it was quite good I, I always used to use my asp explorer for that and my asp explorer is called the lave runner and um but thinking about it actually this is so cheap this ship and although it's a bit rubbish in terms of jump range and a bit rubbish in front terms of cargo if you're only going that far you don't need anything better than that do you really i mean it, it's possibly as good as it needs to be which is uh, adequate <laughs> its adequacy is amazing so yeah i mean it's got the the look of the asp explorer without the nice prongs it's got that weird vertical engine setup which is quite funky and apparently uh the, the 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 outer wings i think i own one of these but i couldn't tell you they only attach at the front which is nuts anyway i'm still coloring in by the looks of it i don't think there's anything that you really need to be told about this picture because it's actually a bit it's a bit wonky <laughs> one side of the wings is a bit larger than the other i know it looks different because of the, the angle of this camera that i've got set up but actually uh i've got i've got one side one size bigger than the other never mind eh? don't matter when I, I i'll show it like uh straight on at the end of the video so you'll see what i mean so there you go lovely with its two utility mounts it's four hard points it's meagre amount of optional internals and it's core internals, size four core internals across the board. It's actually less appalling than I had planned to make it sound. I, I, I'm shocked. Yeah, I might even try. I own one, I think, actually. I think I, I, three Corvée is a big system out in the middle of nowhere. It's in theory, nominally, the home system of the Facebook group I help out on. So um, I think for a bit i did some missions there <laughs> once <laughs> and uh i bought a ship there because i wanted to do some mining and i thought well i'll buy this asp that's so good for mining and then it all became clear to me that once i had all the various refineries and limpets and it, it wasn't going to be it wasn't going to be that good for mining <laughs> so uh, i think it's sitting there perhaps used once at a pot maybe twice yeah so maybe i could get it out of retirement <laughs> Put a paint job on it. Give it a bit of love. Who knows? Maybe I'll even like it. <laughs> All right then. Thanks for watching.